This is my new favorite case for the Steam Deck. Game over. What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handhelds, we got you covered. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the JSOX mod case. In my opinion, this is one of the best cases you can buy for the Steam Deck. It offers full protection for the Steam Deck, both front and back. But what really sets this case apart from others is its full modularity. In other words, you can attach other devices to the back of the Steam Deck with ease, and we're gonna show you that here in just a moment. By the way, I am not sponsored by JSOX at all. This is not a paid advertisement. I am just a regular gamer like you, and I'm sharing with you what I love about this case and why you should consider getting one for your Steam Deck. Now, when it comes to protective cases for the Steam Deck, there are plenty to choose from. In fact, up until recently, I was rocking this case, which is also made by JSOX. It is the JSOX Kickstand Protective Case for the Steam Deck. It is a PC0102 TPU cover with this nice little kickstand here on the back. And I was pretty satisfied with this case for the most part. The kickstand does feel a little cheap to me, but it did do the job and I rarely had any issues with it. One thing I will say about this case that I didn't really like is just how far down the buttons on the top of the Steam Deck are recessed into the case. Now this could be a good thing or a bad thing, on the one hand, it protects the buttons from accidentally being pressed, but it also makes it a little more difficult when you intentionally want to press these buttons. With the JSOX mod case, there are buttons on top of the case, which not only protects the buttons on the Steam Deck, but also makes them easier to press. The only downside to this is if you had it in a bag with other items, something may accidentally press the power button and turn it on, Overall though, I prefer this design over the cutout design on my original JSOX case. Now what you'll also notice about my original JSOX case and cases like these is that the front is completely exposed. So when taking my Steam Deck out on the road, I would typically have to have it inside of another case such as this one so that it could be fully protected. Now if you're like me, then you probably like to take your Steam Deck with you to work, play on your brakes and so forth. I typically take a backpack to work, so I would end up putting my Steam Deck into a carrying case and then putting the carrying case into my backpack. Then when I was ready to play, I would take the carrying case out of my backpack and then the Steam Deck out of the carrying case. What I like about the JSOX mod case is that I can simply throw this cover over the front of the device and put it in my backpack and I am good to go. The kickstand on the back of the case also feels very strong, sturdy, and has a more premium feel to it. I never worry that my Steam Deck will tip over if I accidentally bump into it, which is something that I did worry about with my original case. You'll also notice this here on the back. This is what allows us to attach other devices to the back of the Steam Deck. So let's talk a little more about that now. The JSOX mod case has several versions to choose from one of which is the base model, which comes with the TPU cover, the face cover, this stand, and this strap for the attachment slot on the back. With this strap, you can attach pretty much anything you want to the back of the Steam Deck, like an external SSD, a charger, or anything else you can think of. It feels like it is made of some sort of rubber and feels pretty durable. I was able to attach this power bank to the back of my Steam Deck and it feels very secure. I will say that you will want to consider the size and weight of any attachments you might want to attach to the back so that it doesn't block access to the buttons or block the exhaust port or make the Steam Deck too heavy to handle. The base model mod case can be purchased on the JSOX website for about $29.99. It is currently sold out on Amazon. The case I ended up getting came with the 11-in-1 hub kit, which includes a docking station and an enclosure that slides into place on the back of the case, along with this USB Type-C cord and L-shaped adapter. The docking station features two USB Type-C ports, one of which is used for power delivery from a charger. It also has HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4 ports, both of which are capable of producing 4K at 120 hertz. It also has a USB 2.0 port and an Ethernet port. On the other side, it has a headphone jack, SD, and TF card slots, and two USB 3.0 ports. 
basically every port you would find on the back of a PC plus a few that you wouldn't. In my opinion, this is one of the best docking solutions that you will come across for the Steam Deck, period. JSOX also offers a cooler kit with an attachable fan for gaming on those hot summer days, an M.2 kit for adding more high-speed available storage to the deck, and a power bank kit. But you can always just get the base kit with this strap and attach whatever you want to the back rather than buying their kits. And this actually works very well with the JSOX carrying case. I was able to take this Steam Deck with the face cover attached and portable charger strapped to the back and place it inside the carrying case and close the case completely. So for those who want to use this with a carrying case, I would recommend the JSOX carrying case because you, you may have trouble getting it to work with other cases with the face cover installed. So there it is guys, my review of the JSOX mod case. I absolutely love this thing. Let us know down in the comments section what you guys think of this case. Will you be picking up one for yourself? Also leave a like down on the video if you found it helpful. A great way to support the channel and to help our videos reach more people. We will also soon be adding the Aya Neo Geek to the channel. For those unaware, this is a new Windows-based handheld powered by the AMD Ryzen 6800U chip, which is very powerful. We will be showing gameplay comparisons between the Steam Deck and the Aya Neo very soon. That's it for us, guys. We are out of here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Game over.